Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on the hardcover comic. This is Matt. I don't know where the hell Mike's been or when he's going to be showing up with all of his custom binds he recently did. Hopefully it's soon. We shall see. But I am super excited to show you guys this. Uh, it is none other than Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4 uh, from Marvel Comics. And this is the, the DM variant cover. A lot of people like the Frank Cho cover. I'm impartial. Uh, I I actually really prefer this cover. Um, I prefer the art to be on the cover with the art that matches the art that's within the book. Uh, if that makes any sense, that's what I you know I really prefer. So, anyways, I absolutely love this cover. Um, it was an extra ten bucks, unfortunately. It wasn't quite the fifty percent off, but I grabbed it. So, here you have it, Amazing Spider-Man Volume Four. Here's the cover, and then it's just you know the classic. Marvel Omnibus Spine, Volume 4, Stan Lee, Jerry Conway, John Romita Sr., Gil Kane, Ross Andrew, and then, you know, the classic back, so it's very much like most Marvel, I guess there's nothing super spectacular about it, it's got all the different covers, and this one is going to collect 105 to 142, so it is going to have 129, obviously, in there, which is the first appearance of the Punisher, uh, Giant Size Superheroes 1 and Marvel Superheroes 14. So it's got quite a few books in there. Um, so we take the dust jacket off. It looks just like all the other omnibuses, Amazing Spider-Man's 1 through 3. They all look very uniform and the exact same. Um, once again, the spine is the, very much the classic Marvel omnibus, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4 spine. Nothing on the back. But, here's where it gets good. You crack this baby open. I've stretched the spine out once so far. Um, but yeah, so you open it up. Here's your title page. Gotta love that art, too. I love that old art. And it goes right into 129 there. And then you got your table of contents. You know, which breaks down everything. Jerry Conway killing off Gwen Stacy. Spoiler alert. <laughs> if you're not aware of that already, well, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, intro by Roy Thomas. And then you jump right in. Um, I'm actually going through and reading volume three right now as we speak. And, uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Um, I really, really enjoy, you know, the, the old Silver Age, early bronze, um, books. Um, you know, a lot of people say that sometimes they have a hard time getting into them because they are, oh, the Gibbon, that was a good story, uh, because they are, uh, wordy, you know, they can be very, very wordy at times. And I get that, you know, the fact of the matter is that, yes, they are wordy. Like, that's a lot of times, you know, a lot of the story was done through the words, not so much the art like it is today, etc. So, yeah, they were extremely, you know, wordy books. Um, but what I've discovered is, because I used to get kind of burnt out, you know, too. Like, I had a hard time binge reading, uh, you know, 10 issues in a row of a Silver Age or a Bronze book because it just... it. You know, your eyes get tired, things like that. You know, you get tired of reading. And what I've discovered is I actually enjoy these books so much more if I only read one to three issues at a time. Like on a, any given day, I just read one to three issues. I don't try to binge. And I just take it all in and just enjoy the hell out of those one to three issues. And then I get done and I just go, man, that was a lot of fun. And then I come back to it, you know, like a day or two later and I'll read another one or three issues, whatever it is. And I've discovered that I enjoy the Silver Age and the Bronze Age books so much more doing that. Um, cause I mean, let's be real. That's how comic books were meant to be read. You know, they came out once a month at that time. Um, you know, they were meant to be read monthly and, you know, they were wordy cause they wanted you to have your money's worth and not fly through a comic book in five minutes, you know? So, um, when you look at it that way and you really kind of read them that way, oh, I love that ad. Um, 
you're going to enjoy the book so much more. So if you're someone that does have a hard time with Silver Age, Bronze Age books, give that a shot. Just really let yourself get invested into the story. Read one, two, maybe three issues. Close the book. Come back another day. I guarantee you're going to have a lot more fun uh, reading these books that, than you had previously if, if you were someone that kind of struggled with that. Some people love it and they can binge read them nonstop, and that's great. But there are a lot of, you know, people out there that are younger that maybe struggle with that. So that's what I've learned. That's what I enjoy. Uh, but back to this book. I absolutely love, 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 love the smell of a brand new Omnibus. Like, you get it out of the shrink wrap. You're stretching out the spine. There's like the smell of the paper. It's, I don't know, it's like a burnt match stick. You know, it's like just the greatest smell there is. I absolutely love it. As you can hear, the pages are still work breaking in. Uh, but no, the book lays really well, as you can see. Like I said, I've stretched the spine once. We've been kind of slowly flipping through it. The book lays really, really well. You have a really nice eye hole here as well. Binding looks to be really solid. Um, I, the pages are nice and thick. Not like, you know, the original Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 thick, but overall, you know, the pages are... They're a nice quality, they're a nice thickness. Oh, that smell. Too bad we don't have like a smell of video or whatever you want to call it. Just the ink and the paper. It's like the greatest thing ever when you buy a brand new Omnibus. It's, I don't know, it makes me feel like a kid again. I love it. So anyway, uh, ooh, the Marvel Value Stamps. I have a buddy, uh, Red Skull actually from our podcast, Four Guys in a Comic. Which we are going to be doing again here shortly, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. But uh, he uh, collects all the Marvel value stamps. He's an old school collector like that. and So we're always talking about, do you have this one? Do you have this one? Have you seen this one? Yeah, the pages are still sticking. That's how sealed tight this puppy was. Now I have, I will say this, I have heard of a couple people that got the DM variant covers. Um, and they've had some issues with it. One person was unhappy with the way that the dust jacket didn't perfectly line up on the spine. And I can see their point. It would be a little drying. It's an easy fix, but it is still kind of annoying. Um, mine doesn't have that issue, so it's not like it's every single one. Uh, I also saw an issue of someone that had... Uh, like the back pages that we're getting to here, they were cut all wrong and kind of wonky and made it like really hard to read. And so he was hoping to, and his was also a DM variant cover. So he was hoping to return it and hopefully flop it out, you know, for, uh, for a new one. But since it's the variant cover, who knows if that he'll be able to get it. But here's the extras in the back. You got all the old games, the Spidey Scramble, the Word Cross, the Skilligram. Oh, I remember that. Those are fun. Impossible. Could never complete one, but they're fun. So much cool extras in the back of this one. I'm really, really digging it. all the old ads and pretty neat so anyways that's all that's going to be in the book it's it's a great buy um once again cover price is 125 i think i paid 72 for the dm cover i think it was 62 initially that first week with ist i wish i could have done this video a little bit quicker but unfortunately it, it did take a little over a week for the book to even get to me before i could even do the video so I apologize for those of you guys that missed it. Maybe wanted to see an overview that missed out on the on the fifty percent off sale with IST. But you know you can still pick it up for seventy two bucks regularly on IST. Um, last I knew, they still had the variant cover. That was a few days back, so I don't know if they still do now or not. But uh, be sure to check it out if you want. This is going to be an awesome book. I mean, look at these extras. This is too cool. I'm really really digging this. The stories are going to be great. You know, it's it's the tail end of Stan Lee's stories and then picks right back up with Jerry Conway. So, and then you get the introduction of the Punisher. You get Gwen Stacy killed off. You get, you know, a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. Um, oh, speaking of Gwen Stacy being killed off, spoiler alert. 
So there you guys have some really cool covers. I love that art. That's really neat. And then Afterward by Mr. John Romita Sr. from 1999. And, oh, here's the Frank Cho cover. If you guys were actually wondering what the Frank Cho cover looks like compared to the DM variant cover, this right here is the Frank Cho cover. So it's not bad. It's not horrible by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just, you know, not what I prefer. But a lot of people did. So there's the Frank Cho cover if you guys wanted the regular two. And... There you have it. So stay tuned for more videos coming up from us. Hopefully we can get Mike on soon. And until then, the power is yours.